So you're thinking about moving to Anderson, South Carolina, and you want to know what it's actually like to live in Anderson, South Carolina? Well, stay tuned in this video. I'm going to unpack things to do, where to eat, where to work, where to live, all the things you're thinking about, about living in Anderson, South Carolina. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about the upstate as a whole, whether it's Anderson, South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. And whether you're moving a week from now or a year from now, make sure you reach out to us so we can have you have a smooth transition to the upstate. All of my information is below and we would love to help you move here. So when you're talking about Anderson, South Carolina, the first thing you're going to want to think about is things to do, right? So Carolina Wren Park would be one of the places you want to go. Right behind me is the splash pads where you get to enjoy until about 5.30 p.m. every day. How awesome. You can bring your kids here, even your furry friends. They have a furry friend station for you to have bags and cleanup stations and things like that. So you don't have to worry about anybody leaving any droppings. It's wonderful, right? There's stadium seating which for your outdoor chairs. No glass bottles, no smoking tobacco products or anything like that. So everybody can have their enjoyment. There's Shakespeare in the park, there's festivals, there's so much going on. It's really cool to have concerts here and there's restaurants right next to here. So you're going to have where you can just go buy your food and bring it over here if you forget to pack a lunch. So it's wonderful. There's other places here like Denver Downs. It's a little short drive away over in Anderson still. It has a pumpkin patch. It has sunflowers that you can go take pictures and all of that. There's a corn maze in the fall. There's all kinds of things like obstacle courses for the children. They have so much to do there. You've got to check it out. It's a standalone place, I promise. Lake Hartwell, everybody knows about. You can go boating, you can enjoy time on the lake or even on the docks or the restaurants next to it. You want to make sure you check that out. Then there is Split Creek Farms. Split Creek Farms has, I think it's like 350 little goats that you can go get dairy products from. You can go look at the goats. It's a really great experience for little children and if you like goats. So there's just a few things you can do in Anderson, South Carolina. When you're thinking about food in Anderson, South Carolina, you're going to think of places like J. Peters, which has a really cool salad that has um, a honey mustard mixture with a bacon mixture, and it's really cool, and it has honey drizzled croissants, such a great thing, and open um, face prime rib sandwiches, that's that, and it has other things there too, so I mean, it has much more than that, but those are our favorites. Then you have Sullivan's, which is a little bit nicer of a restaurant. It's a sit-down restaurant as well and has a little bit better choices to choose from that are more high-end. Then a little bit off the beaten path would be Grits and Groceries. While it's not exactly in Anderson, South Carolina, it's still in Anderson County. And it has um, eight top tables, so you're not going to really know who's sitting next to you unless you bring eight people with you. And sometimes if they're so busy, you may have half of your party sit at one table and another half of your party sit at another. So you're going to meet your community. You're going to get to do cool things. They have fried apple pie sandwiches. They have meatloaf. They have pretty much anything you could ask for. It is so cool, the atmosphere. Like when you go outside, the rocking chair type front porch, all of that. Then you have Summit Joe's for pizza. There's figs for coffee and ice cream and sandwiches. There's a lot to choose from here and I have left some off and there's no way to mention them all. When you're thinking about where you're going to shop in Anderson, South Carolina, there's going to be different sections and it's all going to depend on what you're looking for. Clemson Boulevard is going to have a lot of what you're looking for a lot of times. So there's some pros and cons with Clemson Boulevard though. While you can go to Chick-fil-A, you can go to Target, you can go to Home Depot, all the big box stores mostly, you're going to have traffic and you really can't plan for it. So if you are going to go on Clemson Boulevard, use your Waze app because Waze is going to help you take the back roads to be able to get to Clemson Boulevard and you don't have to stress out about the traffic that was supposed to take you 10 minutes that somehow turned into 30 and you just didn't plan for it. There are a lot of good places on Clemson Boulevard, but they're not as niche type places. I'm downtown in Anderson right now and I'm sitting in front of Kate's. It's a cute little clothing store. It's a boutique that you can find fun stuff. There's lots of other beautiful places like that down here. Now understand this area is being revitalized. So you're going to have a lot of shops and then there's going to be some storefronts that are in the middle of being revitalized for them to be rented out for new shops. There's different things next to the lakes that you can choose, whether it's for kayaking, whether it's for boating, you're going to have that ability. And if there isn't something in Anderson that you need and you need to go outside, Greenville's only 30 to 35 minutes away. 
If you like to go to outlet malls, Commerce is only about an hour and 10 minutes from here in Georgia. If you want to go to South Park Mall in Charlotte, North Carolina, it's an hour and a half away. So it's really not hard to find what you're looking for in Anderson, South Carolina for shopping. One of the questions I get asked often is how are the schools in Anderson, South Carolina? Well, to answer that, I can answer a little bit, but for you to deep dive into that, you want niche.com and greatschools.org. Both of those can help you by going through different metrics and you can figure out which one's best for your family. I will say that TL Hanna is a school that most people seek after. It's a high school here that a lot of people love. It may or may not be right for your family, so please check those sites. It is also the location for the movie Radio. It is a true story, how they embraced him and how he flourished with them and helped in their community. He was with them for so long. It is such a great experience. If you know nothing about it or the special needs community here in the upstate you want to watch radio it is a good movie and it is very accurate so that's one piece of it there's Montessori schools and there's also um, preschools here some are preschools that are Christian based and some are non-Christian based figure out what works for you and your family there's Anderson University it has undergraduate programs and graduate programs it is a Christian based school that many people flourish I know of five different people who have graduated from there and they've done such a great job and they're wonderful people and their intelligence is so high so it is a great school so you do not have to always go to say Clemson or Duke or go out of the area you can stay right here in the upstate state or in the Anderson area and live at home to be able to go to these schools. When you're wanting to figure out where you're going to live in Anderson, South Carolina, you have options. So you may even need a notebook and paper to write these down because you don't know yet, right? So Lake Life has two different options. Yes, you heard me right, Lake Life. You are so close to the lake, you could live on the lake and actually work in Anderson and enjoy Anderson's downtown. We're talking about downtown. Downtown is an option. You can find a place that's already refurbished in downtown or you could buy one and refurbish it and make it exactly what you want. There are neighborhoods you could live in in the Anderson or Anderson County area. Some have HOAs, some don't have HOAs. There's rural land you can live in in Anderson County that you could build your house or it already has a beautiful farmhouse on it. There's so many options for you. When you're thinking about the lake life, there's two different sections of the lake. I know, crazy, you have lots to think about. So there's the shallow water part of the lake and there's the deep water. And the difference of the two is it's going to take you longer if you live in the shallow to be able to go full throttle to get to the restaurants like Portman Marina. And uh, basically you're going to have an extra 20 minutes to be able to go enjoy the water per se, but you'll be able to get into work much easier or get to the downtown area much easier. Now deep water, if you're a like life person, say you work from home and you just need high speed Wi-Fi and you like your boating life, that's a great place for you to live. If you're thinking, okay, well, I just want to live on a farm. That's a whole nother story, right? So there's things you're going to have to think about with that. Do I want to have rural land that's still close enough to still have sewer? Does it have the ability to have septic or sewer? Those are two things. If you've never had a septic before, you're going to have to figure out if that's for you or if it's not for you. There's also the worry of, do I get public water or will I have to get well water because I'm so far out? Those are things that people coming here from outside the area that have never thought about that and have lived in a city aren't thinking about when they say, I want to live on a farm. Well, how much of a farm do you want to live on? Are you well and septic farm people or are you sewer and public water? There's lots of things that you need to think about and we can help you unpack all of that when you figure out if you want to live here. When you're thinking about living in Anderson, South Carolina, you're going to think about where am I going to work? So some of the things you're going to need to know is it's a thriving community for working as well. There's manufacturing jobs if that's not your thing. There's small businesses you can apply for because there's many, many small businesses that are thriving here that have been here for decades. I don't mean just years, I mean decades, friend. You have restaurants that have been here for decades. You have small businesses. You have shops that are going through the downtown on outside of Anderson that have been here for years that are family owned that have been passed down for generation to generation. We're right next to the highway. So that means you can go work in Greenville in 40 minutes. You can go work in Georgia in less than 45 minutes to an hour. You can, if you love lake life and you like working on the lakes, there's plenty of that work on the lake with whether you like to clean boats, work on boats, or you sell boats or any of 
of that stuff. You can probably hear the train in the background. You can work for the train companies because it's right here as well. There's lots for you to do here for work. And also one of the things that most people don't talk about is the fact that there's and med health here. So if you have, um, if you're a nurse or if you're a doctor, we've helped a lot of clients that are doctors move from outside the area to relocate here for and med or Prisma in Greenville. There's great packages for them to move here. There's also programs that are like the ancillaries of the hospital. So there's lots of things that you could do if you're in the medical field for work here. There's Anderson College. So whether you're an educator educator or you are a support person for a college, that's great for you as well. Those two are huge pieces of what build into this community. So a lot of times people think about the small steps that happen for income. There's lots of things that can happen to build your income in this area. So there you have it. All the information you need about moving to Anderson, South Carolina. If all of that information made you excited and you feel like you want to move to the upstate, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts, or my team, Atlas Home team so we can help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. All of my information is in the description and I'd love to help you.